Okay, my friends, uh, today we are going to be drawing together. We're going to draw a snow cat. Like, it's a not the actual animal cat, but a, um, a machine that can drive through the snow. Um, kind of, sometimes they're used as a snow plow, and sometimes they're used to just um, haul things around in really snowy areas. If you've ever been to, like, a ski place to go skiing or snowboarding, you've probably seen one. Um, they've got big treads instead of tires, and they're pretty cool looking. So um, let's actually just, let's take a look at some pictures of snow cats. Um, you can see this one has got a snow plow on the front with one long uh, set of treads. This one has two sets of treads, so it can probably steer a little different with the snow plow on the front. Um, and some of them I just used from getting to one place to the other. Looks pretty cool. All right, so um, take a good look at some of these pictures and then um, Let's get ready to draw one on our own. Okay, so grab some paper and a pencil and let's get going. And I'm gonna be drawing on my iPad, but um, I'm gonna use just a normal, uh, kind of like a digital pen. So you should be able to follow along just fine with a pencil, a crayon, a skinny little marker, whatever you like to draw with. And let's start out with just a big rectangle. And then let's put a rectangle here for the front windshield and one in the back for the back windshield or window and I'm going to put and when double that line up I'm going to just do that same shape inside of it kind of like as a border for the window Then I'm going to draw a line right down here. It's going to be kind of like a step for when you're getting in this thing. And then I'm going to draw a rectangle here. That's going to be our door. And I'm going to give it a latch. But it's, so you can open it. It's not gonna be like a doorknob you have like on your closet or your front door. We'll do a latch. Looks kind of like a little hot dog. And we can put a window on here. I'm gonna double it up. Put the little frame around it. Okay. And now, we need to draw some treads. So I'm gonna do the one with the just one long set of treads. I'm gonna go draw a, kind of a hot dog shape. All right, and you notice it's not touching. There's a little space right here. We'll do something with that later. Um, now I'm gonna put three or four big circles In here, there's kind of like wheels inside of those treads. And I'm going to put a smaller circle, a smaller circle, and maybe we can fit one more. Okay. Now, we just did a lot of circles, but we're going to do some more. Put a circle in the middle of these. And then even from there, you can put some circles around the edges. They kind of look like 
chocolate chip cookies. Okay, now we need to put um, kind of like a zigzag line, or I guess a wavy line, around the edge of the treads. And that's what gives it like the grip in the snow and the ice. Just double it up to make it thicker. And then we can draw just a zigzag line right here. And now we need to make the snow plow. And I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to draw a bump, a double line. We're just, we'll make it a thick line. Doesn't have to be double. A circle, a line, and then we'll draw kind of like a C shape or a half circle. And if you want to add more details, you could put a little bump up here. You could put an exhaust pipe, which I'll show you how to do that. You draw a little egg or hot dog, and then a number 11 coming off of it, and you have the exhaust pipe where the smoke can come out. And then we'll do some snow here. And there we have our snow cat. Okay, I hope you had fun drawing that with me. And um, if I went too fast, you can always just pause it or rewind it and um, draw at your own pace.